When such a great and rare opportunity came my way to see my old colleagues again, I just had to take my camera with me. It was as though decades just melted away as old faces were reunited. There are of course plenty of train shots in this film, but the human aspect of an often arduous job and the characters that perform their tasks were central to making it bearable. And there is certainly no shortage of memories to be told either. The Jubilee Shed at Stratford was accommodated on 60 steam engines. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to do the job now if that was steam. Us younger hands might have missed out on the grime and hard graft of working steam locomotives, but there were still some challenging tasks to keep us occupied, and it was definitely the kind of environment that bred a very special kind of humour. You know that was, that was Mosby. Oh, was it when he wrote down the side of the report form? Yeah. It was a creative piece of writing that certainly got his point across. <laughs> Driving trains can certainly throw up the unexpected, with some dark goings on in deepest Essex. Got on the signal and I said, I've just hit somebody on, on the crossing bus. Uh, I said, uh, I put clips on protect the down road and said you better get someone down here to uh, have a look. Trains are also full of odd gadgets. You can't beat a good gadget. But none of them work without the sterling skills and knowledge of chaps like these. I was a, a fitter in a BNC shed, then I went a supervisor in, in the ODM. Electrician, oh. and became a supervisor, maintenance supervisor. Thanks to their volunteer counterparts, we can bring you this. And this. And even some of this. All profits go to the Mid Norfolk Railway where this was filmed. Thank you for watching.